Hey, hello, you're stuck with Wolf Gorlock, few minutes riffing on IT and IT security today. Live from Code Mesh. Uh, and looking at dependency checking. You know, there are so many different vulnerabilities, of course, in code we produce. It's almost steady state, right? You write a line of code, you got a problem, you write 500,000 lines of code, you probably got 17, 20 problems, and a CMS. <laughs> and, and beneath that, probably like millions of lines of code. Uh, and you know hundreds to thousands of vulnerabilities in your dependencies, your libraries, your, your the things that we're running code on top. So how do you check that? How do you keep track? Um, and it, it's a known issue. I mean, OS top ten, they even have this as uh, number nine of their top ten vulnerable modules within the application. So what do you do? Tip for you, speaking of OWASP, check out the OWASP dependency checker. It's free. It's my favorite type of tool, actually, I think. It's, it's a freely available download. It works for um, .NET. It works for Java. And what it does is it checks your manifest. It checks your manifest for the libraries that you're using. So you, you wrote a Java app, and you got a million and one things you're using. What uh, are the versions of those things? And are there any known vulnerabilities, right? So it checks that, checks the version goes out to the CVE, the Common Vulnerability Database, and says, you gotta check this, you gotta check that, and flag the other thing. <laughs> Very important. Uh, and it doesn't have to be ran manual, also important, as we talk about DevOps all the time. There's a Jenkins plugin, there's a uh, Maverick uh, plugin. There's, there's options, right? There's options to automate this. So the way it should work is you write your code, you're checking your code static analysis tools, awesome. You send your code to the Git repo, fine. You go ahead and you build it that uh, we call the OWASP dependency checker. That's going to check to see what you used, check to see the vulnerabilities in it, check the CVE database, alert back to you, um, at which point in your time you can hopefully fix it, reducing vulnerabilities and, and being some sort of superhero. Pretty sure that's how it works. What do you think? Have you tried OWASP dependency checker? If you have, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't, what are you using? Comments, social media, hit me up.